Hello, Holy One. Hello, hello. Welcome to this space. Welcome to this space. So the other day, uh, uh, and the night really, on YouTube here, I did a live and many of you came in and I'm so grateful. It was so wonderful to connect with you guys and have that space together. So thank you. Thank you to all who came into the live. And then many of you have connected via the video replay of the live, which is available on my YouTube page. If you go through the um, menu space there, it'll say lives or live and then all of the videos go there it's just how YouTube does it so if you want to watch the live and you missed the live you can go find it there but it was a really you know impromptu type of just connect together space and it was really nice so thank you all for, for your connection so in that video in that live we talked about activating the higher mind we talked about a lot of things we talked about light beings we talked about um, trusting yourself and allowing these spaces of yourself to open up more and more but the core of why I came onto the live topic wise was activating your higher mind so I wanted to go ahead and come on again here and answer a couple questions I received via email after that live thank you for the questions by the way thank you you know who you are so the questions I've been getting and I've gotten about three, I guess, three questions, three separate people, all asking around the same thing. And that is, what could I share with you that I implemented in my own life or that I understand from working with my clients that really helps activate the higher mind? And what exactly are we doing? So for how to activate the higher mind is you first off have to understand you have one, right? Isn't that the key? So first off, allow yourself to just think about, contemplate and imagine, envision you and your being in your now human form as this you that you see in the mirror, this you that has your friends and your family and your job and your lifestyle. And then imagine that that you has a space of itself that is what you could call, okay, because we this really isn't perfect way of looking at it, but it helps the mind, the human now physical mind. You could call this other space of you your higher mind. It is inside your now version. It is a space of your now consciousness, your now physical format. But it's a space we give very little, if any, focus to. And because of that, uh, it doesn't really get utilized at all. For many, they live their whole lives in one state of being and they never tap into that higher state of being, that higher mind. Not because they can't, it's just because they don't even know it's there. It's like owning a beautiful home and having a room in the home that is just blow your mind, incredible, magical room, but you don't even know it's there. And you live your whole life in this lovely home and you have a beautiful time, but the magic was just waiting in that unknown room. And that's kind of like what this is. And because of the shift we see on our planet right now and the shift we see in our species, humanity right now, because of this, we are opening up the opportunity to actually connect in with that magical room of us, that magical higher mind. And so first, just thinking about it is a fantastic way of opening up the connection. Think about it, imagine it. You don't even have to say, well, I don't know, you know, how do you think about it? Like, what does it look like? What do you think it looks like? What do you think? It doesn't matter what anybody else says because what it is is a space of you. So the way in which you interpret it and the way in which you envision it is all that matters. Now, I can give you a little guidance on what I do. I just allow myself to see my human format, my physical form, my body, my vessel that in, I inhabit as this consciousness, as this eternal being of light, this soul. And I allow myself to see my physical body and imagine in my mind, like within my physical body, this glowing golden light form. That is the shape of my body because that's what I'm in right now. And the glowing golden light form inside my human form is my eternal form. 
and my eternal form will move on to the next space of me when I'm no longer using this space and it has been other spaces before it became this one. So the golden glowing light form inside of you, you could see as the space in which your higher mind is, okay? It's in your eternal being. And when you allow yourself to just imagine it, think about it, ponder it, contemplate it, visualize it, you might even want to get out some markers or some crayons or some paint or some pencils or something and draw this as well, you know? Uh, daydream about it because any way in which you give it focus, you give it activation. Any way in which you give it focus, you give it activation. You open it up. And every time you do that, you open it up more, you activate it more, and it is allowed by you because of that focus, it is then allowed to be part of the plan, part of the show, part of the space. <laughs> And so then you're able to connect in with it. What does that mean? What happens when you connect in with it? You start being able to speak from it. You start being able to see from it. You start being able to hear from it. You start being able to feel from it. What does that mean? It means your vantage point, your interpretation, the way you perceive your life, your experiences, your thoughts, all of you shifts into a higher vibrational space. So a lot of times I talk about it's like being in a parking lot. I happen to be in a parking lot right now. It's empty, but if it was full of cars all around every single spot and I just did this, all I would see is cars. I couldn't tell you how many there were, how big the parking lot was. I could just tell you I was in a parking lot full of cars. But if I were to get out of my car, leave the parking lot and go into the building and it happens to be a building here that's three stories high, but the camera's not situated correctly. But if I went up into the top story of the building and I looked out over the parking lot, that's a different vantage point. I'm seeing more. I know how big it is. I know how many cars are out there. I know where there's more, where there's less. That's a different interpretation of the space because I changed the way in which I was looking at it, where I was looking at it from. So when you are allowing your higher mind, you're allowing that space of vantage point to open up. So everything you experience, your everyday relationships, your conversations, your thought processes, your work, your love, your whatever it is, all of it changes to you having a different type of vibe, a different type of read, a different type of interpretation that offers you a higher flow. What does that mean? It means things move more smoothly. Things open up and manifest for a higher alignment, a better alignment. These are not the best words, but they're what we have to work with right now. So activating the higher mind allows you to activate your reconnection to your spiritual being. Activating the higher mind allows you to remember more of who you are and then be it. It's one thing to remember, and it's another thing to actually live from that remembrance, be who that remembrance is. And so that is what you're being offered the opportunity here. And of course, there can be spaces where the response or the reaction or the interpretation or the perception will be what it had been because it's just almost like muscle memory. You've been doing it for so long that that is always available. But that's just you giving yourself the opportunity to understand how much you've grown because when you see it and you go, oh, I reacted in a way I used to when I was in the parking lot. I have the opportunity to redo that one and respawn up in the building with a different type of take on it, right? It doesn't charge you the same way. It doesn't trigger you the same way. It doesn't infect you the same way because you're not below it or right up there in it. You're away in your higher mind. You're off to the side in your wholeness, your sovereignty, your eternal being who knows you're eternal. Why get upset about a blip? I'm sorry, I don't mean to demean any spaces of anyone's lives. I'm trying to give you the opportunity to open up with this information of you, because it's you you are. Open up these spaces so they don't feel so big. What will happen if you do that? You won't have these spaces that much longer because you're not vibrating at an alignment in which they have a space to put or to connect in. Whatever you are vibrating at is giving the opportunity for that like energy to align, to unfold. 
So when there's lack of self-worth, you have relationships where people do not value you. When there's lack of self-love, you have relationships where people don't love you the way that you feel you deserve to be loved. When you have lack of self-trust, when you have lack of... It's all energetic alignment. So you being able to allow that understanding of your higher mind by simply thinking about it, simply focus on it, contemplate it, write a story about it, draw a picture about it, sing a song about it, imagine it. You are opening up the opportunity for that space of you to expand. You are opening up the opportunity for you to live from that space of yourself. So that when you're in a conversation with someone or you're in a space with a thought or you're in a space with an experience and it is a vibrational space that is not optimal flow for you. It is not, you know, coming from everyone's highest good. It's very egoic, it's very judgmental, it's very twisted, it's very manipulative. Whatever it is, right? When you're in that space, you have the opportunity to kick into the higher mind if you choose, or you can stay right down there with it and all of the density, and you can live from that, or you can kick into the higher mind, you can click in, you can connect in, you can allow, and you can say, wait a minute, I'm eternal. Is this the kind of conversation an eternal being would be having? I am eternal. Is this the kind of thought an eternal being would be having? <laughs> really, I'm telling you, this is gold. This is life changing. <laughs> this is you living from the awareness of your true, whole, sovereign, powerful being and no longer living from a disconnected, separated self that feels as if everything's on top of it. That's what this understanding will bring you. So activate that higher mind if you choose. I allow all to live however they choose to live. I just share the information that's available to you if you'd like to implement it and come from that space of you. And allow that then to activate your higher life because that's what happens. And I really am the walking, talking, breathing example of that. So I leave this for you here at your feet and I bow to you in reverence and respect I honor you for being in this now. Thank you, Holy One. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs>